Hey YouTubers, it's Sue here. I just got done, in fact it's still a little bit wet, um, creating this 12 by 12 paper um, for a photo that I have in mind and, and I will show you that photo. Um, but first I just want to show you what I did. I just really, really love the way that this whole 12 by 12 uh, came out. So it started out with whoops, a Simple Stories paper from the Summer Fresh collection and the back of it is solid brown and the front of it just has um, you know like some font, some writing on it I don't know if it was meant to be a book or a dictionary, oh dictionary um, <clears throat> so that's what it was and what I wanted to do was I wanted to do a little bit of um, some texture using, I don't use modeling paste, but I do have ceramic stucco that I use, which is a gray color. And I didn't want it to be gray. So I went ahead and I took some of this paint that I have. It's actually stencil paint. I don't know, I'm not even sure where I got it from. But anyways, I used some of this and um, I mixed it in with the stucco and, and then I went ahead and used this Tim Holtz stencil called Arrows. And I just placed it around the page, you know, some of it being off the page, some of it being on the page. And I went ahead and used the stucco and I let it dry. I did hit it a little bit with the heat tool and then I just let it dry on its own, you know, for a couple of hours. So then I came back and I wanted to have the drip look on it. So I first started with this Distress Ink in Antique Linen and then I went ahead and I added Walnut Stain. So all I did was I took some in the dropper and I just did little dots or little lines up on top. So it got, you know, little um, little pools, so to speak, of the ink. And I used my spray bottle and I sprayed it down. And then I would dry it off as I'm going along because I don't want it to, to get too odd looking. Um, and then I went ahead and I used a couple Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. So the first one that I used is a Starburst called Golden Sleigh Bells which really um, is very gold. It's very gold. So there's, there's, a metal, there's some metallic to this particular um, 12 by 12 paper. And then I also used this Starburst, a little bit of bubbles. So I went ahead and <clears throat> so that's what you see dripping down. So I used four different things. I used two inks by Tim Holtz and I used two sprays by Lindy uh, Stamp Gang. So on, I went and I dried it off, dried it really good, and so I wanted to pull more gold into it. So I took my Inca Gold in gold, and I have to add water to mine. Mine is rather thick. Uh, it doesn't, you know, it's, it's thick. So um, I put a little bit of water, and with my brush, I just went and put in different places on the page some gold. So you can see all the dirt. And I wasn't trying to be neat. Right? I wasn't trying to be neat. Some of them, some of the arrows, I covered the whole thing. And some, I just did one side of it. And it looks really pretty. It's nice and shiny. So I did that. And of course, dried it off again. Then I went ahead and took this Heidi Swap stamp, which I use this often when I want to put some font onto my my project. So this particular font that I used on here was this up here. So uh, this has never been off this plastic, the plastic that it comes on. It's never been off of there. I don't put it on a block. I just take whatever piece of the font, you know, sometimes I want to use this over here, sometimes I want to use this down here, but today I use this up here. And I just take my stays on and I just you know, go boom, 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 and then put it on the page and push down. So it gives it a real um, nice effect. 
and isn't too bold, but you can see it throughout the page. So there's a little bit all over the page. So I did that, and then I went ahead and I wanted a little bit more of the brown. So I went ahead and took um, a little piece of bubble wrap, which I'm trying to find. What the heck did I do with the little piece of bubble wrap? Um, Oh, here it is right here. So it has the small little bubbles. And all I do is I fold it like this and like this, right? And I just dab it in the ink. If you don't want it too dark, you can dab off of the paper first. Um, and then just dab around the page. So you can see it looks like it's Punchinella, but it's not. It's from the bubble wrap. So that's throughout the page as well. Then I went and I took... Let's see, what was the last piece that I did here? Um, I think that that's it as far as the ink goes. Then I went ahead and took this particular paint from Studio, uh, Claudine Helmuth in Traditional Tan. And I wanted to get something a little bit lighter on the page because at that point everything was dark right with the browns and the gold I needed something lighter so I went ahead and put the circles on using this top of an Advil bottle so I just put some of the paint over to the side here on my craft mat got some paint on the edges and just went around and put some circles so that is it I am absolutely loving the way that this came out. You can see the gold is shiny. Some of the Lindy's stamp gang you can see is shiny. I just love it. I almost don't even want to cover it up. <laughs> but what I'm going to do, I made it for this picture right here. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to cut the picture down or not because I really don't need the top of it here. But I kind of like the way it all looks with the window and the light coming in and Maui standing on top of my daughter's iPad. Um, I just thought it was cute. So that right now is the picture I'm planning on putting on here. And I have, you know, just a couple things that I'm thinking about maybe using, maybe not. We'll see how it goes. And I also have this tissue paper, which is a very metallic gold. So I was thinking about backing the picture, just to get a little bit of a frame around the picture with that gold. So that is my thought process, and I just wanted to share it with you. Please let me know what you think of it. I really enjoy doing this. I love the effect of the, of the stucco. Um, it's nice and, and raised, and I like that thick texture of it. So I hope that you liked it. And um, let me know what you think. And I'll just go around real slow for a second here and just kind of show you what I did. So there's a lot going on, but it sure was fun. Okay. So I hope you have a great day, everybody. Please like my video and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Okay, thanks so much. Have a good one. God bless. Bye-bye.